people often ask, what is the microbiome? And, and in our bodies, we have trillions of microbes, bacteria and viruses. They actually outnumber our own normal cells and they can actually profoundly impact our physiology and particularly those in the gut, which can influence our immunity. Based on our previous research, we showed that there were differential signatures in the gut microbes of patients who responded versus those who did not respond to treatment with cancer immunotherapy. And this led us to ask the question, what other factors that impact these gut microbes may impact cancer immunotherapy response? The key findings of this study were first, that if patients reported taking either a sufficient or high dietary fiber intake, they actually had much better responses to treatment with cancer immunotherapy. And secondly, in these patients, if they reported taking over-the-counter or commercially available probiotics, they actually had worse outcomes. Foods that are naturally rich in fiber are all the healthy foods we already know and understand. Fruits, vegetables, whole grains, which are different than refined grains, beans. Fiber is important for gut health, just as it's important for overall health. And the two things are very tightly intertwined. When the gut microbiome is happy, the host is happy. And so high fiber foods are very important nutrients that the gut microbes like to eat. And we wanna nurture healthy or beneficial gut microbes by providing it the fiber that it likes to eat. And this will crowd out pathogens or other bad bacteria that are trying to take root. The most exceptional thing about this study is the team effort that's truly behind it. All of us have our different expertise and the different things that we brought to the table, but we were completely united by the fact that we all love our patients and we want to improve their outcome. The next steps for this research are really aimed at trying to find better ways to change the microbiome to help patients respond better, but we can also help patients understand how they can help themselves through dietary interventions, uh, but these do need to be carefully tested. We're already starting to test different clinical trial interventions where we're providing high fiber diets to melanoma patients and measuring its effect on the microbiome, the tumor, and the immune response.